Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add rows to child records table based on the parent table quantity. So I'll show you a sample. So let's say we're going to add a record. So this is the parent. And I would like to add a rows to another table, which is the child table. Let's say I put four here. It should add also four rows to child records. All right, as you can see, it added four rows to child records. Let's try a new one. Let's say six. It also add six rows to the child table. Let's say only one. As you can see, it add also one row to the child table. So it depends on how many quantity you would like to put in the parent and accordingly it will add a records to the a row to the child table so let me show you how i did this so let me show you first the database so in the database uh, we have what we call the parent table so it consists of just a very simple example so we have the parent id with the key and then the quantity and the child records we have the child id and the parent ID and also you need to have a table called number so it depends to you let's say you wanted to be the maximum rows to be added a hundred so you can create rows here one up to 100 and here since this is a example I just added up to 10 rows but you can extend this according to your requirements and let's go to the App sheet. So here in the app sheet, the parent and the child uh, I have here. So we need to put this parent ID, a reference type, and we select the parent table and make sure you tick this part is part of. All right. Then let's go to the uh, parent table. In the parent table, we need to create a virtual column which is look up in the numbers table so let's add a virtual column i'm going to name this as number here we're going to create a select statement so select number number we're in uh what you call this the uh the numbers is less than or equals to the quantity so meaning you put a number here and we're in less than or equals to this row that quantity so this is the and you make sure you keep it as a list type and the reference is number all right so we have already the list type and i will show you the number table as well so the number table it's basically very simple it just has a number here and that's it you can keep this as a read only all right so since we added already the column in the parent the number and let's create the actions so for the actions first let's create our first action so the first action is coming from the number table which is this number all right so let's say i'm going to name this add row to child record all right so the number table and then here you're gonna select add rows add new row to another table using values from this row and then the target table is the child you can keep it hide and then since the child table has the child id has the unique id already so we don't need to put the values there instead we need to have the parent id so the reason for this is we need to connect the child table to the parent table all right so in order to get the parent id so we need to get the latest value which is added to the parent table so for example here when you add the records and once you save it 
it saves the parent ID to the spreadsheet. So we need to get that latest value. All right. So to get that, we can use the index or lookup. So in this case, I'm going to use index. So index select uh, the parent table. And I need the parent ID. We're in the the key column there is parent ID is equals to max row. So in max row of that table is parent, the maximum or the highest row number. That's it. And then you're gonna index it, first result, and that's it. So you can hide this. And then we need to trigger this action. Since this action is stays on the number table, we need to create a second action that triggers this action. So we need to create a new action. So new action. So the target table now, I mean the triggered table, the trigger table is the parent, the parent table. So I'm going to name this, say trigger add row to child record. So select this, execute an action on, on the set of rows. Then you select that action, I mean table first. So the table is number, and then you select the action that you created, and then let's create a reference row here. For the reference row, what we need is we need another select expression here. So we're going to use here, select. So we're going to select what? We're going to select the uh, reference table. So the reference table is number. What is the key column? Number. We're in, in number this row that number okay okay select number okay let me save it the reason why it's having an error because we added a virtual column but we did not save it so once we save it will be okay see as you can see so let's hide this and then we need to trigger it so to trigger we need to open the emulator all right so let's add this and then i'm going just to trigger this in form save so we have here Trigger add rows to child records. So this is the table. I mean the actions that we created. Okay. And then click save. And then let's close this and see if uh, see our database are empty. So let's try to open it in the big screen and test our uh, app sheet. All right. <clears throat> So let's try to add a record. So based on this number, the maximum I can add is 10. But let's say I'm going to make it 12. Let's add Let's add our first test. So let's say if I would like to add five rows. As you can see here, it added five rows. But since uh, we need actually to create a link here, I mean a, a related child. So let's go back to the app sheet. And then... Here, we can just add here the uh, column, so related child, and it shows here. Let's save, and let's go back to the here. All right, so let's try to add the maximum row, which is 12. And then let's go back and try to add 12 rows. Let's say I'm going to add 12 rows, and save, open this. As you can see, it added 12 rows to the child record. Let's try to add one, one row only, and try and save it. As you can see, it added one row to the child table. So in case if you want, if you would like to restrict the quantity, let's say here, uh, the user can just put whatever is the maximum number you have there. So you can add uh, validation here so you can get here or you can have the maximum value here of 12 so let's try 
so wherein they cannot put maximum numbers uh, maximum quantity or over quantity so let's try okay so let's try so the maximum quantity here is 12 let's try to put 13 and it won't save so it won't save 11 of course and it adds 11 child record rows to the child table all right so i hope you learned something in this video and if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video